does all those things that you know, Herbert Moore is noted for. He uses his height and his body to catch that ball. Hello. Yo, what's up? None, B. What's up with you? None. What? Where? What's up with you? Nothing, man. Just chilling. True, true. Oh, shit. What? It's the game. True. So what's up, B? No, man, just chilling. What's up with you? Chilling. What's up? Who's that? Yo, who that? Hold on a second. Yo! Yo, pick up the phone! Hello? What up? Yo, where's Dookie? So what's up, man? Nothing big. Chillin'. True. Oh, shit. Are you watching the game? True. So what's going on, B? Chillin'. What's up with you? Nah, man. Just chillin'. First and ten Bears at their own 27. Hi, my name is Charles Stone. I'm a filmmaker, and I'm the director of the short film True. True is based on a on a real, I guess you could say, situation between friends of mine who are actually in the film. It was it was it's literally as it is in the film, in the sense that we and the guys are on the phone and we're saying you know hello, and we had this way of saying what's up, you know. And at first it started as what's up, but then it just slowly transformed into you know what's that. <clears throat> and the thing that's funny about it is that. It, it was always that. It never was something that was like, what's up? Or, you know, which is, I think, the more typical route to go with that word. And for us, it was much more distorted and, and absurd, which a lot of our humor is based in, absurdity. So it was a process of saying, what's that? What's that? What's that? And that's, it was just something that we would do all the time. <laughs> True is all about the words to me. It's like all about the language. It's based on single words. It's not like there are many sentences, you know, and, um, and how these guys play with these words and, and communicate. I pretty much knew I always wanted to be a filmmaker uh, since I was, uh, I don't know, adole early adolescence. At first, I thought I was going to be a special effects technician or an animator because um, animation has always been a strong part of my life. Uh, and then I ended up going to uh, Rhode Island School of Design for animation. And while I was in college, I also got involved in other things like theater, doing a lot of stand-up comedy and uh, playing for bands. Uh, I directed, I've been directing music videos for about 10 years and uh, I started to move into the commercial world. And once I knew that I wanted to make movies, I decided it was time to put together a few short films that could show, you know, the types of narratives that I would like to do. And True ended up being the first of uh, the shorts that um, I created. I mean, it was shot on a shoestring budget if even a budget, you know, I, I got a friend of mine's video 8 camera. It wasn't even a DV camera at the time. This was, what, 97, the fall of 97. That's when I shot it. Got a couple of my buddies, buddies of mine who would, who I used to do the with, with. so um, again, it wasn't about auditioning people. I just worked with people who were familiar with the, with the, uh, the ritual, <laughs> I guess you could say. 
And we went to a friend of mine's house up in Harlem and shot it all in a day. After completing True, I sent the film out to various screenings. And the first major one that I had where I got a lot of attention was the uh, MVPA Director's Cut screenings here in L.A. And uh, the next morning, my uh, rep or executive producer received like a ton of calls from people, from agents and people at various film studios, you know, asking about me and about this film. And, you know, it, it like literally exploded overnight. You know, I mean, you hear that all the time, and I have to admit, this is sort of what had happened. Making True, the challenge was to work with something so simple and something so absurd, but yet to um, create such great meaning. In my um, synopsis that I would write out for film festivals, I, always, I would always put um, encrypted phone conversation between two friends that escalates into a, uh, a celebration of friendship and love. Um, and then the second sentence was, um, within two minutes, the meaning of life is, is explicitly defined. And I honestly believe that. I mean, it's, it's as simple as true is, it, it does communicate communication and love and respect and understanding. It's all about guys saying nothing and totally saying everything.